This I wanna nail sports to the one Top vlog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself Alright, so we're taking a trip down there in the IPL. Now, yesterday we had a spine shivering game over there in the IPL with Virat Kohli and his Royal Challengers Bangalore taking on Hetmeyer and the Delhi Capitals. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, that was a very intense game. Yeah, man, when we talk about nail biting, game going all the way down to the wire. That was it yesterday, so I hope you guys got a chance to see the game. If not, be sure to go and take in the highlights. Now, batting first, the RCB managed 171 for 5 of their 20 overs. And it was Mr. 360, A.B. De Villiers, that I'm um, sure, you know, that sure did come to the party as he butter bruised the bowlers. No, Virat Kohli, he got out playing a nothing shot, you know, so <laughs> it, was, it was a bit, um, they, they, they were actually a bit worried when Kohli got out, but um, some last ditch batting by Mr. 360 actually pushed them up. Now, before the ABD Villa show, we had Pandya that got 31. Um, Glenn Maxwell, he didn't um, actually manage much, but he, he chipped in with 25 runs. Now, closing in on the final couple of overs. RCB were worried where the runs were going to come from. Well, in stepped Mr. 360 AB de Villiers and he spanked the bowlers real good. Spanked them left, right, and center, my viewers and subscribers. Well, my viewers and subscribers, we're talking about AB de Villiers looking as if he's still in his mid 20s. Boy, when I see de Villiers batting like this, I have to just. Wonder why is it that he called time on his international career thus far? I mean, a man might call time because he want to be able to go around and play T20 cricket. Yes, but boy, this man is still looking fit and looking as if he can do some damage at the international stage. Now, the South African got um, 75 of 42 um, deliveries. Now, Steinis especially felt the burn as A.B. De Villiers went in on him in the 20th over he actually slapped him real good slapped him for a couple of sixes no i was thinking that boy it wasn't a good idea to get um Steinis to come in and bowl the last over and my reason for saying this is that throughout the entire match he didn't bowl a, he didn't bowl a ball before the 28th over it was just there on the boundary feeling and thing so to come in and you know for the captain to ask him to come and bowl that last over to De Villiers. You know, boy, I was a bit rough. I was actually talking to a friend of mine and he was saying that, boy, anyway you take it, they would get um, spank. But, you know, it was, it was more likely that they would get spank seeing that the bowler was bowling his first over to De Villiers, who was set. Yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers. Um, actually, you know, before the AB show, it seemed as if um, they were looking at around about 130. So, you know, you guys can just imagine that 171 is a lot of runs to play with, um, especially when you have uh, the intense Virat Kohli as your captain. Because I want to tell you, you know, peeps, um, when Kohli got out, when Maxwell got out, you know, they were looking as if they, boy, they, they were wondering if they were going to even get 150. But behind me, my viewers and subscribers, AB De Villiers really went in and, he's, he, he, you know, he actually put the... The, the bat to the ball and got some runs. Now, for the Delhi Capitals, Ishan Sharma, he bowled pretty well. You know, he actually um, he bowled four overs and, you know, he picked up a wicket for 26 runs. He caused them some trouble. He actually got the ball to move up and down. So, we see that um, Ishan Sharma is still going strong. Remember the days when Ishan Sharma and Zaire Khan used to open the bowling for India. So, as you can imagine, um, Ishan Sharma is still going strong because we all know that in the IPL, if you are not on your A game, then you will get hit all over the park. So, yeah, man, Ishan Sharma did pretty well there. And, I mean, the bowling wasn't too bad, you know, my viewers and subscribers. It's just that 
last over by Steiners, you know, that AB De Villiers went in on and picked up 23. That is where the issue um, came because from the start to about the 16th, 17th over, the Delhi Capitals were actually going good. It's just that, you know, in the latter part, the AB De Villiers came in and he decided that boy, he was going to go to work. So that 171 is where they ended up. Now, chasing down the total, my viewers and subscribers, Shaw, Shikandarwan, Steve Smith, they all failed to register anything noteworthy um, going after that runs, my viewers. So he actually took um, two half centuries from Captain Punt and Shemran Het Meyer to start to uh, um, give the, 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 the Delhi Capitals some hope. And, you know, it's really good to see Hetmeyer coming in amongst the runs because we all know that he has been struggling from the other day where um, getting runs is concerned. And um, Captain Punt, I think he actually blundered by giving Stannis the ball to bowl that last over. But, you know, he actually came in with the bat and was trying to see if he could, um, you know, put, that, put the, right, uh, the wrong right. But it wasn't to be at the end of the day. No, Hetty, he actually got 53 from 25 deliveries. So we notice he wasn't um, in a runner ball 53 that Hetmeyer got. You know, 53 from 25 was actually very good. Uh, Panty got 58 from 48. So, yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, it was just... Um, it was just not their night, even though both of them got half century. As I said, the big bat Steve Smith, he only managed to make um, four from five deliveries. So, yeah, man, you know, the game actually went right down to the wire, as I said earlier. And, you know, you think they, I think they actually wanted six off the final delivery and Pant was able to only get a four. So, yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, so that is basically how the cookie crumbled for them. But it is good to see um, a couple of their bats, um, batsmen coming into farm. Shikandar one has been very good for them since um, since the start. You know, Panty had a, a I think he had a good opening game, but he sort of fell off. So it's actually good to see Pant and Hetmeyer getting amongst the runs, my viewers and subscribers. So um, they only manage 170 off um, for four of their 20 overs, uh, basically giving Coley and the RCB. Um, a one run win <laughs> so yeah man my viewers and subscribers so uh, based on my opinion it would seem as if the momentum um, was back and forth throughout this game you know because when Hetmeyer and Pant were at the wicket they were you know they were um, they were hitting the bar pretty nicely before they came in though RCB was going very good then they those two started took the game back and you know down in the in the last over there when they were unable to get those um the runs needed we saw that the the, the momentum shift back therefore giving the rcb the victory so yeah man and you know based on what i think that last over by av de villiers my, my viewers and subscribers that 23 that he got out of that last over is sort of you know that is i won't even say that is what um saved them because at the end of the day every run count but it was very good to see him cashing in in those last couple of overs. So, yeah, man, my viewers and subscribers, there you have it. Um, the Delhi Capitals fighting pretty ham. Uh -huh. You know, they, they fought pretty well, but it was just too much for them at the end of the day. And usually just defending 140 or 150. Virat Kohli is usually a very intense captain, somebody that, you know, he usually finds, um, come up with ways to win. So, having 170, 171 there about to defend, it would have been very difficult to, to, to you know, to, to start an outplay him. Even though he almost lost the game, but it is what it is. But as I was saying, um, my viewers, I just, I'm just really happy to see that Shemran Hetmeyer is actually getting amongst the runs once again so we still um we are still waiting on a couple of a couple of our west indian players to come to the party still haven't seen anything big from pollard as yet uh poor and is 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 due some runs i think the last game he got 19 half 19 deliveries so he's due some runs russell narine you know these guys chris gale um uh, you know, I see, I see where Sportsmax actually published something about how the Punjab Kings um, set up their, their batting lineup. 
and it, you know they are saying that boy it is actually hampering gale and poor and based on how it is set up and funny enough i saw we're a subscriber i don't remember we subscriber actually typed that in the comment section yesterday that they need to start to um get their tactics right as it regards to tweaking the batting lineup so i don't know if anything will be changed so as to 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 get them to fire but right now gale and poor and you know they they need to come up trumps um, I think Puran is one bad game away from being dropped. So hopefully in the next game, if he gets a shot, he will be able to go out there and get some runs. But as it regards to the IPL, you know, it's going pretty well. Um, we've seen a lot of newcomers doing some, doing some good work, especially where the, the bowling is concerned. Yeah, man. So far, you know, we, we haven't really had any dominant batting to the, to the extent where we, you know, we, we are getting centuries. I think in the opening game, Pant, I don't remember, I think Pant would have gotten a century in the open, open game, opening game, or it was Samson. I don't remember which one of them, but um, since then, you know, we haven't really gotten anybody getting, getting any 100, I think. I think we got a 90 other than a couple of um, high, high half centuries, but separate and apart from that, um, we haven't really gotten anybody kicking on like that. Yeah man, but that is basically it for that game of yours and subscribers. RCB coming out victorious once again. So as per usual, just go down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about that game. Um, did you enjoy it? I think that game was pretty exciting. Nail biting, um, one would say. But yeah man, my viewers and subscribers. That's basically it. Sports to the bone. Keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please remember to subscribe to the channel. I'm out.